you can import all of the items in your eBay store directly into your own unique online shop by using the eBay connector in just a few clicks. Being able to effortlessly take all of your item data, such as item codes, descriptions, variants and images, and then insert it into your new website saves you potentially hundreds of hours and means that the entire structure of your eBay shop can be transferred to your own unique domain. So ahead of this video, you must have an eBay shop full of items that you are looking to transfer over to its own unique website. So as you can see, this is the eBay connector area. And this entire process is totally safe and managed through a secure eBay link. And if you have a large shop, you can import up to 500 items at no extra cost by using this connect eBay link. It's a remarkably simple process. But firstly, how exactly do we get to this section? Well, to get to the eBay connector, you need to enter the basket area and then look for the extras option at the bottom. And then you want to scroll down and look for the last option, which is the connect to eBay section. And obviously, when we are in this eBay connector area, we need to click the blue connect eBay button. And you'll be taken to eBay and asked to log in. And it's worth thinking of connecting to eBay as like a three step round trip. The first step is this logging in process here, which is just one click given that you probably already logged in on your desktop. And this first connection is essentially forming a connection between eBay and our system, so that you will never need to go through this login process again. eBay will remember you after doing this the first time. So let's just quickly log in. And after agreeing that our system has permission to read the content of your eBay store and import its contents to our system, you'll be taken back to this stage here. And you will see that there are two essential steps when it comes to the actual transfer of your eBay store's data to our system. The first is the analysis stage, during which we analyse your eBay store in great detail learning and understanding how it is structured in terms of tags, subcategories, variants, item images, and so on. So the first thing you need to do is click this green Analyze Your Account button. And doing this can take a bit of time, and that is because we are searching through the whole store and storing its structure so that it makes it much faster to go back for the second step. Now, I've only got a handful of products, less than 50, so it's not taking long. But if you had 500 products, you would need to be a bit patient here. But you can see how the bar is loading up. The second step then is known as the importing stage. And all we need to do, of course, is to click on this green button again. And you will see in the progress bar below the percentage of import completion. Now, because the analysis stage was where all the data and information was being collected, the importing stage happened basically instantly. It, it took no time at all. So in the first blue bar, you can see that 100% of the items I wanted to import have been successfully imported, and that these 18 items account for only 18% of the total number of items I can import into the system before I need to upgrade. So that import barely took up any space at all. And it's also worth asking, before moving on, what is that reanalyze button for exactly? Well, during the process of analyzing your eBay store and importing it into the system, which could take a bit of time, your eBay store's stock levels might have fallen following a purchase, or items may have been added. And this means that you may need to go back in again using the reanalyze button and identify any new items or any new stock levels to ensure that your website on this system is completely up to date and accurate. Now, as I've said, this was not a big upload of items, only 18. So everything happened rather quickly and all of its associated images are already in place. However, if you had a larger shop and you were uploading hundreds of items at once, the images would take a little bit more time to be fully uploaded with their associated items. And in the meantime, there'll just be some default image in place of the item, but that won't last very long because essentially what you will see in the items area 
at the top here. It's not shown there for me because all of the item images have already uploaded. But in your case, you may see two bars, two loading bars at the top here. And the first bar is signaling the finding and then importing of the images. And then the second bar is signaling the optimization of those images that have been found so that they load really snappily when customers enter your shop and look at your items. It basically makes sure that every image in every item, no matter how many you have, all load extremely quickly and look as professional as possible. And with that, you now know the simple process of importing the contents of your eBay store into your own unique website. Being able to do this saves you countless hours and establishes you as a proper e-commerce website. As somebody with not just an eBay store, but a professional and unique e-commerce website on which you can really get across the character of your business and draw more people to your items. You should now go and watch our series on groups and automated rules to learn about how to bundle items together into logical and intelligent collections. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking with you again soon.